Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing a bunch of Bibles that showed up while I was on vacation. Okay, so I got home from vacation last night and there were four new packages in the mail, new Bibles, and as you can see, <laughs> I got so excited that I opened up a couple of them before I thought to myself, oh no, I should be doing this on video. These are great unboxings and I could do one big unboxing with everything. So I'm gonna set the two that I haven't unboxed to the side for a second. I do have my Vcam. What's up everybody? So I'm gonna show you a couple that I opened. First of all, I got this one. It's very special from my friend Renee. This is the Allen edition from R.L. Allen of My Utmost for His Highest by Oswald Chambers. Now, I have a copy of My Utmost for His Highest that I received as a graduation gift from a, a guy at my church back in Omaha, Nebraska. His name's Tom Hemphill. So, Tom, if you randomly watch Bible videos, thank you for My Utmost for His Highest. It had a quote from a Civil War era minister named E.M. Bounds written on the inside of it, and that quote has meant a lot to me. But I had heard that Alan made some editions of My Utmost for His Highest and that they were really hard to come by and I posted that I was looking for one and my friend Renee from the Facebook group Alan Bible Addicts hooked me up with this one. I mean, so, so kind of her and I am thrilled with this. I, like I said, I was so excited about it that I opened it as soon as I got home and it looks absolutely, it's got the, the Alan art gilding on the pages, very, very clean. It was printed by Lego in Italy and it's like this beautiful classic. If you're not familiar with My Utmost Verse Highest, you have to check it out. I'll put a link in the description. It's a daily devotional from Oswald Chambers and it's based on talks that he gave to college students, radio talks, and they compiled it. I think his wife did the initial version of it after he passed away. But just, it's, it's a really, really beautiful daily devotional. Lots of scripture, lots of just really meaningful stuff. And the fact, I'm such an Alan geek, so the fact that Alan made an edition of it, I really wanted to get this one. And, and I'm thank you, Renee, very much. I, I'm, I love this. This, this. The next one that I ripped open was a rebind from Lion and Lamb. I've been wanting to get my hands on my friend Jonathan. Um, I've, I've talked about Jonathan on my channel before. Father Jonathan Resmini, he's a, an Orthodox priest in Charlotte, and he is like the, the Bible rebind guru. He's got one of everything, it, it seems like, from Bible rebinds. And he brought a few rebinds through Nashville one time, and one of the ones that I fell in love with was this company called Lion and Lamb. There's the inside logo on the back. And I got one here. This is a beautiful ESV large print wide margin. So this is a Bible. I'd never actually seen this before. It's a large print wide margin, obviously that's the name of it, edition. So you get the big wide margins, but you also get a large print. And this Bible, this the piece of leather on this is absolutely gorgeous. I think it's called Sully Goatskin. This is a big Bible, but it's so floppy. It's got a full yap on it. The art gilding is beautiful. I mean, just the construction of these Bibles. I mean, the, the liner and the gold gilt lines on the inside, just I was really excited about this and it really has blown away like my expectations. It's nicer, nicer than I expected it to be. And I was expecting it to be very nice. I don't know if you can see this, but it has raised hubs on the spine and tooled ribs on either side of the raised. I mean, this is very nice. Okay. So those are the two that I, that I opened last night and I, I forgot, oh, I should probably record a video. Now I've got a couple more that are in here. So this one is from Tyndale. Now, I get it. I, I do I do get Bibles that I'm not expecting because sometimes publishers want to have reviews and they'll send me stuff. So I'm pretty sure, oh here it says, the Compact Filament Bible. So this is a new Bible from, from Tyndale. Oh, look at that! That is tiny! I'm going to take the bag. <laughs> That's amazing. So this is very small. I have little hands, but like this is the size of my hand. Holy Bible, New Living Translation, compact, rustic, brown, leather-like. So there's the cover. That looks really great. And this is, and so what I love about the filament Bible is when you buy one of the filament Bibles, you scan the page and, it, and with the app on your, with a, a QR code on your phone, and it opens up the filament app. You download the app and it's got study notes and it's got devotional material. It's got videos from the Bible project. It's got so much content. And so you can have this Bible right here, right? So this is, yeah, this is the entire Bible. Now that is awesome. Let me open that up. Just a really nice compact Bible. You can have this little tiny Bible. You can probably fit this in some of your pockets, right? 
but then you scan the app and it has all of this material on it. So you get like a study Bible and videos and all of this great maps and interactive things. You get all of this content on your phone, but you still have the words of the Bible in your hand. This is really cool. It looks great. It's got a little cross kind of insignia symbol imprinted on the cover. It's got a perimeter stitch. It looks really nice. NLT, Holy Bible, Tyndale on the, on the spine. It's got a little bit of a like a gilding on the pages. So it's got a little bit of gold in there. I mean, yeah, it's a super tiny font, but it's a compact Bible. I mean, this is not much bigger than like one of those small pocket New Testaments you would see. Let's see here. Yep, you get red letters in the, in the New Testament. That looks pretty sharp. I mean, this looks really good. You get maps back here, the world. They've got like a whole little system back here, a visual overview. Okay, this is they've had this in some of their other Bibles, a visual overview of the Bible. So it's like maps and charts and really cool stuff. That's neat. That's... This is a great version of the filament Bible because it's so small, and this is kind of the idea behind that. Like I just said, you, you have a small Bible that has the words and the text with you, but then the app just unlocks so much more. The, yeah, the retail price of this is $19.99, so you're going to be able to get that even less expensive copy of the NLT. That's awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked about this. Now, this one is very interesting. So I don't know if you can tell, but this Bible has like some, this box has some like discoloration on it. Yeah, you can see it there. It's kind of like this, this stain almost. And my mom said, hey, my parents are getting my mail. Hi, mom. I love you. I don't know if my dad watches these videos. I, I bet he does. But my mom, if you, watch, if you go down to the comments on all of my videos, my incredible mom leaves comments on all my videos and I love that but hey dad I love you if you're dare dad have mom leave a comment that says roll tide because my dad is an Alabama football fan my mom is actually they're both Alabama football fans anyway sorry to those of you who aren't Alabama football fans I know you might be turning the video off right now don't do that this is right now I can smell this box so there's like a little stain there so, somehow my mom's like did did Harper Collins send you cologne and I was like no, I don't think Harper Collins sent me cologne it literally smells like a candle store or, or like a soap store. This box has some sort of like fragrant that, fragrance that was spilled on it, maybe at the post office. I mean, it's, it's very strong. And this, this box has been sitting in my house. I mean, I got home last night, but it's been sitting here for a few days. Anyway, this is from HarperCollins. I believe that this is from the, oh, there we go, the Thomas Nelson side of HarperCollins because I think that they have a new Bible. Oh, this is sturdily packaged in there. They have a new NKJV Bible. I think this is what this is. Sorry, that's so loud. Yep, that is cool. Oh, this is the new NKJV interleaved Bible, the journal edition. This is neat. Okay, let me get rid of this box. Three, two, one. This is nice. Okay, the NKJV interleaved journal edition blank pages inserted between each page of scripture are optimally suited to notes and journaling. This is a flax cloth bound hardcover. Let me get this out of there. Oh, that's cool. Great little slip case. That is neat. It's like a canvassy, they said flax cloth bound hardcover, but it's got like a real open porous canvassy material. There you see Holy Bible interleaved edition. Man, I am going to do a full review on the NLT Compact as well as this Bible. If you'd like me to do full reviews of, of the, the My Outmost First Highest, so you can see that, or this Lion and Lamb Bible, definitely let me know, and I'll do some reviews of those as well. This looks really, really sharp. So the idea behind this is you get the NKJV, you get the Comfort Print typeface, yes, 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 but they're, they're oh, Philip Nation. So Philip Nation is the publisher at, at Thomas Nelson. So there's a note here about personal study, prayers, sermon notes, legacy. That's really cool. A little note about using this Bible, preface to the King James. So this is so this is how we go. I'm gonna show you this. Page one, Genesis, and then you get in here. There's left side, page of the Bible, right side is a page for note taking notes. Clean, wide open. Oh, so it's every other page like that. That's really cool. So you get in here and it's just, you get blank page. So it's, it's like, if you are a note taker, here's your paper that you can do that on. Every other page. It makes it a pretty thick Bible, but it also gives you tons of space to write. It's a very creamy looking paper. 
Really nice. I, I love the NKJV comfort print font. It's one of the reasons why I love Thomas Nelson so much. I really think they hit a home run with these fonts that they did with 2K Denmark. And the Bibles they've been producing just look great, feel great. It's got a couple of ribbons in here. Yeah, this is really, oh, that's a really nice red letter in there too. Check that out. So you just have a page where you can take notes, write things down. I mean, that's, it's pretty, I think it's going to be pretty simple and straightforward. As I said, I'll do a full review and give you all of the specs on this, but that's a great concept. Just lots of places for you to take notes and stuff like that. That is, and it looks really great on the outside. That looks really sharp. That's very impressive. So this is the world of Bible reviewing. I went out of town for a few days. I came home. I had all these boxes. I wanted to open them up and show them to you. So this is like crazy. This is, you know, something new from Tyndale, different. It uses an app. This is like totally analog from, from, from Thomas Nelson and the NKJV. Like they want you to write it in here. So it's the furthest thing away from being an app-based Bible is like write your notes down in here. A cool, uh, hard to find version of uh, My Utmost for His Highest Daily Devotional from R.L. Allen, one that they did for a while. And then a, a super, super over the top custom rebind from Lion and Lamb that is like floppy to the nth degree. A really cool Bible, man. This is, a, I mean, talk about a great mail day. I've had some good mail days here at Bible Review Blog, but this is definitely one of them. So before you go, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Definitely visit BibleReviewBlog.com. That's my website. You can see more of the reviews that I've done there. And then surf around here on my channel and find some more unboxing videos. i got a bunch of those, other Bible-related content here on the channel. This was, this was a lot of fun for me. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know. Uh, leave, leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll get back to you and all that. This was fun. Thanks so much. Bye.